Yo, what's going on guys? Prevised here. Welcome to part one of messing with Roblox physics. Uh, Alright, so this is pretty simple to make right here. Um, sorry if it does look kind of wrong, but um, <clears throat> it's pretty much kind of like a, a sort of hammer that's going to be swinging back and forth. Uh, I'll show you what it does. Alright, yep. Pretty basic. So it has two wheels that are um, modeled with these parts right here. And then the hinges, let's see. So I have some in, uh, invisible part that has, hmm, I don't know. I kind of can't really explain it, but I'll show you how to do this. It's pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to be starting off with the basics. This video is going to have all the basics of making it but I may have another video on making it have detail because mm, the only part on this type of like machine thing that's de I would consider detailed is this hammer thing right here um but the rest I that's pretty basic it's not really detailed um but maybe in another tutorial we're gonna add like color and making it look nice but we're gonna start from scratch and let's begin alright so first off let's insert a part let's make anchored to true also go to the view tab and make sure these two are highlighted and in model tab make sure collisions is not collided and I would recommend starting off with using one stud yeah so first off let's build some legs for our machine and then um, also instead of always doing like if you highlight this and do control C then control V you see how it pastes and it puts it in a weird position well instead of doing control C and control V just do control D which duplicates it it's pretty neat but um alright so here's some legs we really don't need legs but it's just to make it look more realistic because in real life pretty much everything has legs um, or some sort of thing to hold the machine because you know machines can't levitate or hover in midair um, but alright so these two parts we're gonna make two separate parts right here um, on both sides so with these top parts we're gonna um, create a hinge um, but first off let's create oh well yeah that's, um, actually this machine I forgot about this but this machine that we're gonna be making will levitate uh... should we? nah 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 nope 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 let's make this machine kinda tall so let's get rid of these parts let's make this machine tall and let's spread it the legs a little more because the example I showed you guys before this video yes it was levitating but uh... I don't know why I did that I was just testing. I'm kind of new to these uh, constraints, the motors and stuff. <clears throat> All right, so here we are, two parts at the top. <clears throat> so first off, let's create a cylinder. Let's make anchor to true. Let's drag this over here. Can while holding it, let's put it on the base plate. While holding it, we could do control. Uh, we can just press R and T which is gonna rotate um, the stuff but let's get it to where it's like this um, let's see alright um, I'm gonna change this to point two if you get the right size yeah let's see alright anyways I'm just gonna bring it back to point one scale this thing All right, we're gonna make this cylinder kinda big alright feel like it's not centered think it is yeah should be alright um now as you can see I'm just gonna make this arrow as you can see the arrow from the cylinder is kinda in the middle of this block right here 
which is a kind of a good thing. Uh, it's just for measurements. You don't really have to, you know, do what I just said, but it's just for measurements. All right. So, what we want to do now? Let's select this cylinder. Um, let's move it, move this cylinder away a little bit, just to give us some room for between these two parts, because we need to make a hinge. So, in the model tab, constraints, create hinge. All right. Now, make sure this constraint right here, this attachment, is in the center of this little brick. You, if, um, you can change this like 0.5 maybe to find a, a good position. Just just mess with this. I'll do 0.5 right here, then bring it straight across. Yeah, kind of glitchy sometimes. Right here maybe. Yep. Okay. And also, if it's a bad position like this. What you can do is uh, select the attachment, press the move tool, and you can move the attachment. But mine's perfect, so. Alright, so once we have that, let's move this cylinder back. Um, and also right now what we're going to do is make sure these legs are anchored, both of them. And then unanchor this cylinder. Yep. Um, so the only thing on this machine that's going to be um, anchored is just going to be these stables, like these little legs. That's the only thing that's going to be anchored. So everything else, unanchor it. Oh gosh, this is going to be a long tutorial, but uh, let's go with it. Uh... Alright, I'm back. I had to pause the video. Um, So, where was I? Oh yeah, I just had resized this down. Um, yeah, I'm just going to just, doesn't matter what the size is. So now, duplicate this bring it over here now as you can see whenever we hold on the arrow there's a there's an attachment in there but we want to get rid of that so let's just click the attachment or to if you another way of removing the attachment is just clicking on the cylinder and then there should be attachment inside that part but yeah alright so now let's make another hinge alright right here Let's move this. There we go. Alright, so these should be unanchored. Yep, these are the only things that are unanchor unanchored. Now let's run this. And they should not fall. Perfect. They sh they're not falling. Um, and they are unanchored. Cool. And also, something cool is... Uh, like if you move this, it moves right in position. It tries to get back in the same position it was in. It's because it's uh, connected, but yeah, yeah. As you can see, it rotates also because it has that ability to. But yeah. Um. All right. So let's make this into a motor so we can have these parts spinning. All right. So let's click on the part right here. Go to hinge constraint. Now, um, what this says. Actuator type. Actuator type. Whatever that word is. Let's select motor. Now, angular velocity. Let's put that to 25. Um, I'm kind of new to this stuff. Um, so you guys might want to mess with the numbers, but I'd recommend doing what I'm doing for now. And then, Matt, um, let's put a pretty big number for this. Um, just put a few nines, but it'll, it, it'll probably convert it to a little higher number. Um, let me just copy this. Now select that other one and then go in hinge constraint. Let's change this to motor, change this to 25. And let's paste that in. Uh, Alright, so let's run this and see what this does. As you can see, they're, they're quite quick. Now, to if you want to change both at the same time, let's click, uh, highlight both of them and then let's change angular velocity to 10 now that should slow it down a little yes it does slow it down now as you can see they're spinning in different directions so to fix that because we don't want that to happen let's select this one hinge constraint now let's change this to negative a negative number so it's gonna go in the opposite direction yep yep Alrighty, so now that we got that, alright, so now let's copy this, alright, let's get rid of this, 
Alright, so let's size this down a bit. I'm gonna do two. So, doom, 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 doom. Alright, and then change this back to 0.5, which is half a stud. And let's put this right here. Now, I'm gonna make this pretty simple. Um, alright. So, let's put this on both sides. Alright, now, um, I'm gonna pause and set everything up. Alright, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> so, um, let's select all, open up surface, let's change this to smooth. And smooth. All right. So now, um, now we need to add some. No, we don't need to add uh, hinges for this actually. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these parts. So one, two, three, four, five. So we selected. Oh, I forgot this one. So we selected the um, two wheels and everything between it and this bar. So let's. Um. Yeah, let's group this, and I'll keep the name as that. Um. Also, what we're gonna need to do now, I'm just gonna do this for the purpose of this tutorial, um, because you guys might not have a plugin, but there is a plugin called Create Welds. I use this. F I use this a lot. Anytime I need to weld something, I use it. But for the newbies, for the noobs out there that don't know how to script or the, don't have a plugin. Um, just type in weld script um, and pick a weld script but I have this awesome weld script that I'm gonna get from here um, and let's go in the model paste the script in there so whenever you get the weld script you just paste it inside the model and it's gonna do all the work so let's run this um, why am I not able to run? Okay, why did I click that? Let me just play it right quick. And let's just see what it does. Yep, there we go. Check that out. Pretty neat, eh? Alright. Um. Yeah. Alrighty, so. Now we're gonna have to add another hinge. Um, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna add another part, which is which is gonna have the hammer connected to it, like the hammer type thing. So I'm gonna now, as you can see, as I whenever I click this, like say I want to try to get this cylinder right here that is like right here. Um, instead of going inside the model and looking for the part like I know it's right here but see whenever I try to click it it selects the whole model well to get that one object you hold alt and then you're able to click hold like you yeah you hold alt and then you click while holding so I'm gonna control D which duplicates select this and I'm gonna drag this into workspace so it's outside of the model alright here we are so I'm gonna resize this so it's like this and then same with this part I'm gonna drag this outside of the model yeah whoops alright so we're gonna have our hammer or a part connected to this. So I'm gonna rotate this.
something like that. All right. So sometimes um, what you're gonna have to do if you make this bar too long and this cylinder too long, it might not go like it. Whenever it swings, it the hammer part might hit the ground. So what you're gonna have to do is either make these things smaller or you're gonna have to bring this up like move it up some and then you can ex extend the legs to be touching the ground either one but I think mine's fine <clears throat> alright so now what we're gonna do we're gonna whoa. okay we're gonna select these move it this way just to give us some room to add another hinge so create alright now this and this all right, same. Um, we can move this back now. Right, we're gonna select these two. I think this is the middle. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Whoops. And move this back into position. All right. So now, I know you can. In game, you won't be able to see this little yellow thing, so don't worry about that. Unless you do enable to where you can see, which if you want people to see that, click on the attachment, you make visible to true. Yeah. Or unless it's the hinge. Nope, I think it's the hinge constraint. Either one, I'm not really sure um, which one. They both have properties of visible in there. But, alright, so let's get back to business. So select these parts also this big hammer part group that and you take your weld script and then you paste it in there so yeah um let's see what it does oh, oh okay okay so you see it got stuck and I thought mine was fine so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move it up Since these parts are anchored, since they are anchored, you don't have to, you can just make it float pretty much, but I'm just going to make mine go in the ground. Alright, let's run this thing. Yep, there you go. Big hammer. Um, Now, if you wanted to do something like mine, yeah, I'm going to show you, but here it is, it's just swinging because there's a motor which just rotates this whole thing um yeah but I'll be right back alrighty I'm back so here was the model that we were just working with so now if you want if you're done with it you could just control G which groups and then it will still work but if you wanted to do something like this here's an example like this which was the example I showed you in the beginning of the video um, it's very easy so we're I guess we're done with this one so what you could do now let me just let me just remove this okay so here's the one we were just working with and we just grouped it so let's control D duplicate it I'm gonna now to ungroup it control U alright so let's work with this so let's select both of these parts now let's go in these parts now both hinge constraints now just all you got to do is change motor to none and you're done so we can group this and we can run and there you go now I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like more please leave comments because no one really told me to make a video but like on how to do this but I, I just wanted to because I've seen it to I've seen a video if you type up Roblox physics it's gonna be like the second video it's uh but yeah I just got it um, some I don't know what to say but uh it just made me want to make videos and learn how to use these constraints and stuff so more videos may come soon I mean just let me know if you what you want to see or what you want me to make and I can do it so thanks for watching peace